what's the not your finest hour podcast what is that all i mean i've heard stories not our finest hour podcast one i'll i'll have to check out one of these days when i get a minute to listen to it um i've been told it's not for everyone i don't know it's just the general reviews i hear on it but uh it, it has been getting really good reviews and i've never personally listened to it but i have heard it's not for everyone uh, i listened to the not our finest hour podcast just great great podcast i've really really enjoyed that i don't i, I i'm not endorsing anything from what i said from what caleb told me he said don't don't endorse anything unless you listen to it first i do once in a while listen in and it's it's a lot of fun but i do i do gotta be careful it is not for everyone. Caleb Allman is uh, always dropping notes that it's um, one of the uh, most value-added shows out there. Of course, through all the, the Not Our Finest Hour, uh, you guys poking fun at so much different stuff is is absolutely killer. I don't feel any oppression tonight. Um, in fact, I feel, feel very free. The Not Our Finest Hour podcast. Thanks for being here. Welcome to the 200th episode. Recording at the last minute on Thursday, right before this, this is the 200th episode. And it was the episode that almost didn't happen of all the episodes. This is the closest I think we ever cut it to not having an episode the next day. Yeah, it is too. And if you watch this on YouTube, you'll notice that Chad is much shinier and brighter now that he's moved houses. Yeah, I feel better. Everything is better. The water is better here. Um, it's incredible. The lather on the soap, my God. Really? <laughs> it's another it's level. Softer. It's softer. I don't know. They put this monster like water purification thing in my basement. It's back there somewhere behind me. But the thing is, it's brilliant, I think. Really? Until you start breaking out in hives and rashes the next day. Oh, so far, so good. It's been a week. I didn't know that. The hardness of water affected the amount of lather you got in soap. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Maybe I've never lived with hard water. Oh, I've always the, been in the city. The mm. water here before came out of the tap red. Ooh. Like, we used to, whenever I worked for the company that owned the property that I live at now, so in my early landscape days, he would have the sprinklers going near where you put your cars, and it would bake the cars in red water all day in the heat of the sun and it like you got in your car at the end of the day and you couldn't see out the windshield like it was, yeah really awful so we had to do something for the water looks like it worked don't know never what it, had but... never had that problem at midland and finch mm. <laughs> midland and finch there was a lot of chlorine in the water <laughs> that was about all So it's been like crazy fucking hot, but it still rains. Oh, this is no. the first week it didn't rain, like enough to cancel a day. Oh yeah. Oh, we got spooched on yesterday. Yeah, yesterday was bad, and then today we got a bit. Really? Yeah. Where were you working? Oh, uh, I took today and yesterday off. Were the rest of the guys pissed that you abandoned them? <laughs> They took it off too. What happened <laughs> in your company when the boss goes down? In if my my company if the boss yeah. goes down, yeah. Uh, oh, we put up we put on the brakes. This hasn't happened. This has never happened actually. Even when I was sick during that whole pandemic time, I still went to work. This is the worst I felt in like. I can't even remember. <laughs> You must not be up to date on your COVID boosters. You must not. <laughs> <laughs> Spending too much time with Joe Biden. If you'd yeah. gotten your ninth booster, you wouldn't be okay. <laughs> yeah. You'd be fine. Just on a political topic, because I don't know if you guys have seen this stuff about people like shitting at the beach. No. Putting up tent. They put up a tent and then they dig a hole. And then they shit in the beach all day in this hole, and then they cover it up at the end of the day, and they take the time. No way. So apparently this is happening like at Wasaga Beach a lot, or a lot of beaches around Ontario. I have never seen it. I can't testify to the truth of it. There's a lot of posts about it. Um, it's one culture in particular that it's part of the tradition of that oh, culture or something. Third Kent, yeah. Yeah. Some... Uh... What is it? 
It's a turd tent. A turd tent? <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> instead of this tent. Someone posted a someone posted a picture of a guy at a gas station who got out of his car and just with the door open, just pulled his pants down and started taking a shit at the gas station island. But like you can see the washing. I've seen the picture, but you can see the washing. And there's like a whole bunch of people saying this is photoshopped, it's racist, blah blah blah. And then there's a bunch of photographers who use Photoshop every day saying, Hey, like I'm an expert at Photoshop and this picture is not Photoshop. And there's a hundred reasons why it's not Photoshop. But um what how this becomes a political thing is the I guess the association where this happened, a uh, former MP used to own it. So he made a statement saying, I'm a former MP who used to own this gas station. And I'm saying that never happened. I'm like, you're like the least likely person I would trust. You're a former government official. That means automatically you're a lying piece of garbage. Like wh- why would, and because you were the former pro like the whole thing is ridiculous. And people will say, oh, the guy who used to own that property and was an MP, he he says it's not true. Um, I, so what if I own a house and 10 years later someone takes a per- picture of someone shitting on the front lawn of that house, I could be like, hey, that's fake. I used to own that house. What are you talking about? That's not a reason to know whether a picture is fake or not. It's ridiculous, Matt. Like, ridiculous. I, I used to own that property, so I know this p- picture is fake. <laughs> that's so fuck anyways but that's just some like and then you're a politician so obviously you can't be trusted yeah. in any regard with anything yeah so, exactly. isn't anyways. that the truth so the 200th episode started off talking about people shitting on the beach which is a bit appropriate <laughs> how many people reached out mike uh we do have three voicemails we have a, a fairly long video that I got to watch a few seconds of, and a lot of effort was put into this. Um, it's pretty cool. Nice. And we've got uh, a handful of questions, too, from uh, Instagram. Sick. That are 200 episode related, possibly. Cool. Where do you guys want to start? And we still have no sponsor. And we still have no sponsor 200 episodes in. You know what happened today? Um. It made me think of this could be a Caleb's Corner thing. So the backyard we're working in, I made a video of it so people could watch it on YouTube. It's honestly probably the most fucked up landscaping project I've ever been on in my life. It's a pool was poorly backfilled and then it sat for a year and then the basement flooded. So then Tyler from Hallscapes there doing the waterproofing, but it keeps collapsing so he keeps having to dig it out further. And then uh, Derek from DPR was there doing some uh, fencing and a pergola. So he's there. And then we showed up and there's piles of dirt and wood and shit. Every, like it's just, it's, there's a fucking, like Tyler's like 10 feet from the house because it keeps collapsing. So he keeps having to dig it out further. Um, anyways, oh, it's the whole thing is fucking chaos. And in the middle of all this chaos, where we're trying to squeeze buggies through and try, cause we're trying to get the dirt out of the yard. Cause I'm not putting it back in the hole because I have to build stuff on that. We can't compact that. It's like just wet shit. So in the middle of all that, there's this like nest spruce that's mm-hmm. in the way of the buggies. I'm like out of all the chaos that's here, why is this fucking nest spruce still here? So I did what any responsible contractor would do. I called Nancy. Nancy, is this fucking nest spruce part of some design? Like, why is this fucking thing here? She goes, I don't know. It's not supposed to be there. Rip it out. All right. So Ricky grabbed onto it with the excavator and ripped that bitch out. And we dumped, put it in a buggy and we dumped it at the front lawn. And there it sat. And the homeowner freaked out. Uh, He didn't freak out. He was concerned, though, because that bush had a lot of sentimental value and was supposed to stay. Really? But and, the yeah. only person he told about the bush and that it was supposed to say was uh, apparently supposedly Tyler, the waterproofing guy. 
Now, why you'd tell the waterproofing guy about a bush in the back corner, I don't know. But anyways, quickly, Jesse that works for us leaped into action and started digging a hole to replant the bush because it's an evergreen. So it'll look green for at least a couple months before it actually is totally dead. <laughs> I'm like, hopefully we'll be out of here by then. But it turns out in an even worse scenario, that bush was planted Oh, on no. top of the homeowner's dead cat. Nice. And I was like, man, I have, this is like almost the, la- this is the landscaping trifecta. Three contractors working in the same fairly small backyard, waterproofing going on, dirt everywhere, tore out a bush that's over top of a dead cat. Jesse's trying to bury it in a garbage can and water it to save it. <laughs> like, Did you of- the cat? No, the cat's still in the ground, I guess. We didn't dig it up. <laughs> or it could be in one of the bins. What if it impedes I... the waterproofing? What did? What if the cat impedes the waterproofing? What if it... Well, the cat's, the, the cat cat is no, the cat. cat's at the very back of the yard, nowhere near oh. the waterproofing. Oh. That's why I was like, I don't understand why Tyler knows about this bush. He's the only person that's not working anywhere near it. <laughs> but <laughs> anyways, in all of that, I thought to myself, you know... This probably wouldn't have happened if we had done what Caleb said and got the company cam app and taken some pictures and made everyone aware of this bush. Um, But then I was like, you know what? Company cam never sponsored this podcast. So fuck it. Let's just keep ripping out important bushes. (laughs) When I, I pledge to everyone. When company cam steps up and sponsors this podcast, I will stop ripping out important bushes to my client or trees. Right. We had a similar thing going on at the yard. We have 12 acres of property where the guys are free to do just about whatever they want. And I've got my two. Can they shit in tents? Well, (laughs) there's a washroom, but if they need to shit in a tent, they're certainly part of their culture yeah well not my guys Mm -hmm. Uh, but i've got two dead dogs buried on the property and they are nestled in the tree line on one side of the property and one day i saw gord one of my workers coming out of that corner with an empty pail like gord what are you doing back there he's like oh i planted my weed plant there (laughs) i'm is that okay i said gord that's right on top of my dead dog. <laughs> he goes, what? I was like, yeah, I planted my dog there this spring. Planted my dog. I buried my dog there this spring. <laughs> and then, like, you planted your weed plant right over top of him. He's like, oh, I'm sorry. I got to move it. <laughs> weed plant somewhere else. I don't know where. It is, but anyway. Now the weed plants are some other location in the yard. Yes. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Find an empty pail. You leave the pail around it. So. Yeah. <laughs> And you have like a thousand pots. Yeah. Well, we lost a lot of them in a great pot fire. Mm. <laughs> but, um, it's, slowly coming pot back. Fire. <laughs> it's slowly coming back. We've probably got about two or 300 pots now. But I have learned that I put them at the road and people come and get them. There was this Chinese guy who came with an empty van and literally took thousands of pots and crammed them all in the back of his van. Really? Yeah. Do you have a sign on them? Free pots? Free pots. Yeah, I put them on Facebook Marketplace. And people will message you for days. Like, you take the ad down and people are still coming. They're coming at you. Do you still have those pots? Where can I get more pots? Do you have any more coming? It's just insane. I put a message up for uh, free clean fill. Mm. And I was pretty, pretty specific about it. Showed videos of, like, us pushing it with a bulldozer and dump trucks dumping it like triaxles. But I get like people messaging me, I need you to bring me three yards of this free clean fill to fill my pond. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Or people will message me and be like, I need six loads. I'm like, can you send me your address? They send me their address. And it's like this tiny house in the beaches in Toronto. So I messaged a guy to bro. What are you doing with six traps or loads of dirt at this house? Like, <laughs> even if you were filling the basement, it's potentially too much dirt. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize they were that big. I'm like, 
So the whole, I bet I got got since I put it up like three days ago. I bet I've got 150 messages about it. People are clueless when it comes to anything construction related. Hmm. My sister today, I was loading the uh, skid steer on the trailer, and she lives in Toronto, so I never see her. But she, her son is six years old or whatever, right? And she's going, wow, that's a great machine. She's like, it probably costs as much as our car. I'm like, this is $110,000. She's like, this costs as much as three of, three of our cars. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, <laughs> nobody has any clue how much this stuff is worth. Yeah. No. That's true. People don't. I want you to bill it at $60 an hour, $40 mm. an hour, whatever it is, right? What do you want to start with, Mike, for the well, 200th you guys, episode? You guys tell me. We got questions, voicemails, and a video. I want the video. You Starting off with a bang? I feel like the video should maybe go first. I agree with Chad because the video obviously took a lot of effort and time. All right. This is uh, it's, it's a six-minute video. It seems like something that we might need to either watch it and pause and react or mm. watch it once all the way through and then come back to it. Does it, have sound? Does it have sound? Uh, there is sound. Uh, from what I listen to, it is our intro music, so it, it's not necessary for the sound. Well, but if we're watching it, like people, it's a podcast. Yeah, so this will be, I'm going to actually upload this on Spotify as a video podcast. So everybody listening on Spotify, this is the first time you're actually going to get the video too. As well as this is gonna go on YouTube right away, as so you can watch it on YouTube. So, um, but isn't it gonna create like a big empty blank spot? Is it gonna create an empty blank spot? No, it they'll see the video as a as a full thing. The way no, I just went for it. sound. If someone's listening in their car, is there gonna be a blank like you're saying it's six minutes long? Is there gonna be yeah. six minutes of nothing or? No, we'll be reacting to it, and you'll hear the not our finest right. hour intro music. So okay. yeah, maybe, maybe we'll play a bit. We'll we'll react because uh, you'll understand it once I start playing it. What it's trying to do. I may have made this more difficult than it needed to be. <laughs> I'm also not in the right mind to be able to <laughs> give good information. Anyways, okay. uh, so here's the video. This is made by uh, Stefan Poirier. Uh, he's the rep for Romex as well as the Smart Level. And uh, he's an avid listener of the Not Our Finest Hour podcast. Can you guys see this? We yeah. can. That's okay. pretty awesome. I'm going to oh, uh, gone down. Yeah, because I forgot to share the sound, too. All right. We'll, pl we'll press play. Um, you'll notice that it's referencing different episodes. So maybe once we see like a reference on an episode, we'll pause it and we'll kind of react to it here. Ready? Sure. sure. Uh, your Finest Hour podcast. What is that all? I mean... I've heard stories. Not our finest hour podcast. One I'll, I'll have to check out one of these days when I get a minute to listen to it. Um, I've been told it's not for everyone. I don't know. It's just the general reviews I hear on it, but uh, it, it has been getting really good reviews. And I've never personally listened to it, but I have heard it's not for everyone. I listen to the Not Our Finest Hour podcast. Just great, great podcast. I've really, really enjoyed that. I don't, I, I, I'm not in. My name is Double Garth situation. It's a <laughs> double Garth situation. <laughs> that's such a great reference that double, is good a double garth situation yeah endorsing anything from what i said from what caleb told me he said don't don't endorse anything unless you listen to it is that what garth looked like uh one of the garths one of yeah. the garths was older and one of the garths was younger so oh, i'll say that 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 guy looks like a garth in this video like you, everyone should go and watch this video because that guy definitely you feel Garth when you see that guy. <laughs> but first, I do once in a while listen in, and it's it's a lot of fun. But I do I do got to be careful. It is not for everyone. Caleb Almond is uh, always dropping notes that it's um, one of the uh, most value added shows out there. Of course, through all the the Not Our Finest Hour, uh, you guys poking fun at so much different stuff is is absolutely yeah, cool. There's a problem on the job site. <laughs> a I like that. Problem. Do you guys see the the billboard in the back? I wonder if it's yeah. going to zoom in on that. Oh, oh yeah. Now, now offering low 20s and cash. 
<laughs> Ask about Chad's nine year warranty. <laughs> but then it has city of Oshawa at Gmail. <laughs> this is so good. City of Oshawa at Gmail. <laughs> do, do you see this? Yeah. What, oh. what you, Hope you like oh. free uh, free. <laughs> <Anonymous>. <laughs> Oh, there's one that says Bank of NDL. It's a cash yeah. machine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if we zoom in on those. Someone, someone, DM, sorry, someone DM me about how they were like financing some job based on the episode of the podcast. Oh, see, really? that one. It's not like, as out to lunch as you think. I was like, I don't think that's great advice, but anyways. <laughs> He, I don't remember. Fuck, I don't. Remember. Anyways, they DM me about it. I don't know why they just DM Chad for more advice. Yeah. Feel any oppression tonight? Um, in fact, I feel, I feel very free. Oppression. But not our finest hour podcast. Thanks for being here. Not your finest hour podcast. What is that all? I mean, I've heard stories. <laughs> not our finest hour podcast. When I- What's that from? No tight ankles allowed. It's the. Um... The uh, compaction test guys with their oh. tight ankle pants. Oh, oh, I see. Got it. Got it. How many people <laughs> sent you guys the video of the compaction test guy hammering in the thing with perfect form? Yeah. Did oh, you yeah. Get, did, I got like at least three people sent it to me, and everyone was like, What kind of car is that guy driving? <laughs> 100% a Corolla, baby. Yeah. I'm getting a bunch of. Um... The oh. guy who splits his day into three, the six hour days. I'm getting a bunch of those sent to me. <laughs> the guy who oh, says, Oh, yeah. my first day is six hours, my second day is six hours, my third day is six hours. That guy. That's how he gets more I days. One of days when I get a minute to listen to it. Um I've been told it's not for everyone. I don't know, it's just the general reviews I hear on it, but uh it, it has been getting really good reviews. And I've never personally listened to it, but I have heard it's not for everyone. Uh, I listen to the Not Our Finest Hour podcast. Just great, great podcast. I've really, really enjoyed that. I don't I, I I'm not endorsing anything. From what I said from what Caleb told me, he said don't don't what? endorse anything unless you listen to it first. What what's the mixing of the or is that just a tilt? Oh, it's mixing cocktail. Oh, there's pickled yeah. eggs. There's no, pickled eggs. Using a tilt rotator to mix martinis or something. That's right. That's, that's right. Not meant for or something like that, right? I think I said something about it being yeah. uh, making videos. Yeah. No one, no one would sponsor me or give me a tilt rotator. There's a Man, lot there's... of bags of poly sand there. Yeah. There's I wonder how many references here. I wonder how many bags of that poly sand are. Uh, Failed. Um, failed like two per- well, two percent. So yeah. in that pile there, there's at least two or three failed bags of policy. <laughs> First, I do once in a while listen in and it's it's a lot of fun. But I oh, did you see the excavators made in China? Yeah. I mean, excavator. Yeah. You do gotta be careful. It is not for everyone. Caleb Almond is uh, always dropping notes that it's um one of the uh, most so, value added shows out this this bin. In this pit, in this video where it says, um, fuck decks, build patios, and there's people overloading a bin. Um, so we just, I just got two bins that look exactly like this. Like they look, they're exactly like these bins, these green bins that are like, because some guy owed us like $6,000 since last year and said, can you come and take these bins and we'll call it even? And I'm like, man, I don't need any more bins, but I feel like this is my best opportunity to get something for my six grand. So sure. Anyways, interesting. Those bins look just like the new paper King bins. <laughs> is it safe to load a bin that way, Mike? No. The knee in the back there. <laughs> I do like that. The truck is standing up on end. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Out there, of course, through all the the Not Our Finest Hours, uh, you guys poke and fun. It's so much different stuff. A pile of clipboards. What's that from? Uh, I have a pile of. Cl- I was talking about the oh the paperwork, the, all the paperwork and the clipboards, and giving them to the trucks and the whole nine yards about that. Gotcha. Is is absolutely killer. I don't feel any oppression tonight. Oh, there's one of those things. <laughs> Oh, the um, the thing the, that Jeremy uh, Jeremy Swihart has. Oh, I thought that I was referring to the uh, mini bulldozer. What do you call that? The to- centaur or something like that. We the talked minotaur? about. The- yeah, 
the, the mini bulldozer, the Minotaur. That's the one. The bulldozer skid steer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. I thought it was. Look, yeah, I think that probably makes more sense. Yes. That you feel very free, but not our finest hour podcast. Thanks for being here. Free Polly Sanders hour podcast. What is that all? I mean, I've heard stories. Not our finest hour podcast. One I'll I'll have to check out one of these days when I get a minute. To it's got AC seats uh, like my truck. What? It's got AC seats like my truck. Oh, is it the yeah. AC seats? I thought that was water. A, well, maybe it's water. I think it's no, a water that, ball. No. I, I don't know. Um, I've been told it's not for everyone. I don't know. It's just the general reviews I hear on it, but uh, it, it has been getting really good reviews. I, I, never I wonder that? if that's you running that skid steer yeah, that's, you your that's skid too steer. wide. It's your mini oh, is it? Oh, it's too. <laughs> that uh, you bought, yeah. Uh, I see. Too wide. <laughs> that makes more sense. That's yeah. good. Listen to it, but I have, I have heard it's not for everyone. Uh, I listened to the Not Our Finest Hour podcast. Just great, great podcast. I've really, really enjoyed that. I don't. I, I, I'm not endorsing anything. From what I said, from what Caleb told me, he said don't don't endorse anything unless you listen to it first. I do once in a while listen in, and it's it's a lot of fun. But I do I do got to be careful. It is not for everyone. Caleb Almond is uh, always dropping notes that it's uh, one of the uh, most value added shows out there. Of course, through all the the Not Our Finest Hour, uh, you guys poke and fun. Oh, so that's a it. That's an old reference from like that is. That's a really old reference. <laughs> Cash grass her ass. Cash her ass. Yeah. <laughs> that's from like absolutely killer. I don't feel any oppression. Bank of NDL. Tonight. Um, in fact, I feel feel very free. But not our finest hour. <laughs> Distribution center. <coupon. laughs> that's great. Cash rebates. Nine year warranty financing. Distribution center. So that lady. Thanks for reached out to me the we did this little path lane in a front entrance way and the the finance lady the lady who wanted her job finance said uh she'll reach out in the spring once she's got the money for her project so i don't think it's going to be a finance thing i think it's going to be a cash job not a cash, uh-huh. cash job but a, a job where they have the money to pay for it at least gotcha did you work out the terms on the financing job no we never had to because she must have listened to the podcast and thought that twenty uh, percent or whatever it was is too high already. Perfect. Yeah. One in the bag for next year. Being here. Not your finest hour podcast. What is that all? I mean, I've heard stories. Not our finest hour podcast. One I'll I'll have to check out one of these days when I get a minute to listen to it. Um, I've been told it's not for everyone. I don't know. It's just the general reviews I hear on it, but uh, it, it has been getting really good reviews. And I've never personally listened to it, but I have heard. Oh, it's the, uh, the Pelican from my trip to uh, yeah. Panama. Yeah. Wow, that's another Pelican. old one. Yeah. Wow. Heard it's not for everyone. Uh, I listened to the Not Our Finest Hour podcast. Just great, great podcast. I've really, really enjoyed that. I- <laughs> the Geo the Ripper. Geo Ripper. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, well, there's a saw it. with wheels. Oh, is it a saw with wheels? On, just by that brown box is a saw with wheels. Oh. <laughs> and oh, a I gill- see your fan, your fan uh, squadra driveway here. Yeah, where's that? Do you see that? That's the fan outline of your your squadra driveway. Your scallop design. Yeah, you're, it's probably going to zoom in on it, but it's right here. There's a guillotine. What I- from what Caleb told me, he said, "Don't don't endorse anything unless you listen Stop to it first. Chat. I do once in a while listen in, and it's it's a lot of fun. But I do I do got to be careful. It, it is, is not for everyone, Caleb. Oh, it's the chain. <laughs> oh, pulling on your driveway. <laughs> yeah, chain on the edge. Oh, that's great. Almond is uh, always dropping notes that it's um, one of the uh, most value-added shows out there. Of course, through all the, the Not Our Finest Hour, you, uh, you guys poke and fun at so much different stuff is is absolutely killer. I don't feel any oppression <laughs> tonight. Um, in fact, I feel <laughs> very free. The Not Our Finest wheels. Hour great. podcast. Thanks for being here. <laughs> Not your Finest Hour podcast. What is that all? I mean, oppression the summit. Story. Yo, is that what it says? Is block oh, okay? Oppression summit, nice. It says oppression summit. And canceled. Canceled. Ten <laughs> x this baby. Nice.
gurus line up here. Oh, with the guillotine. <laughs> oh, that's for the guillotine. Yeah, nice. Oh, yeah. What's There's the a head uh, head What's the reference to the the woman dressed up with the high heels? I don't know. There's some the head underneath it. I said, yeah. if my head rolled off, I would want it to go. Oh, oh look at the right. skirt. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Our finest hour podcast. One I'll I'll have to check out one of these days when I get a minute to listen to it. Um, I've been Sponsors. that's great. <laughs> crickets. <laughs> Sponsors light up here. Crickets. <laughs> told us that that for great. everyone i don't know it's just the general reviews i hear on it but uh it, it has been getting really good reviews <laughs> and i've never personally listened to it but i have heard it's not for everyone uh, i listen to the not our finest hour podcast just great great podcast i've really oh, it's really a big lineup that. of gurus I I, I, i'm not endorsing anything from what i said from what caleb told me he said don't don't endorse anything unless you listen to it first i do once in a while listen in and it's it's a lot of fun but i do i do gotta be careful it is not for everyone caleb allman is uh, always dropping notes that it's um one of the <laughs> Uh, most value added shows out there. Of course, through all the, the Not Our Finest Hour, uh, you guys poking fun at so much different stuff is, is absolutely killer. I don't feel any oppression tonight. Um, in fact, Caleb's I feel corner. Feel very Caleb's free. corner. Not Our Finest That's Hour <laughs> podcast. Thanks for being here. Not your Finest Hour podcast. What is that all? I mean, I've heard stories. Not Our Finest Hour our podcast one I'll, I'll have to check out one of these days when i get a minute to listen to it um i've been told what's that referencing do you know the shovels yeah told us not for everyone i don't know it's just the general reviews i hear on it but uh it, it has been getting oh, really good reviews. and i've never can't heard shovel your way to a bad price i listen to oh. Find us yeah. on our podcast. Just great, great podcast. I've really, really enjoyed that. I don't. I, I, I'm not endorsing anything. From what I said, from what Caleb told me, he said don't don't endorse anything unless you listen to it first. I do once in a while listen in, and it's it's a lot of fun. But I do I do got to be careful. It is not for everyone. Caleb Allman is uh, always dropping notes that it's um, one of the uh, most value added shows out there. I think that's it. All the the not our finest hour. Uh, Take massive action. I think that's it. I just muted it as it zooms out. Oh, it says take massive action. That's right. funny. It, it's shoveling out. You can't shovel your way to a can't shovel your way to a good price. That's a great video. Yeah. <laughs> the f- final thing. Oh, how you how... <laughs> <laughs> how you surround yourself with will determine your future. <laughs> yeah. It's the greatest quote of all time, man. There were so many deep five. references in this video. That was so good. That okay. was amazing. There's a lot of really deep references in this video. I wonder how much time it took him to make this. This is incredible. I don't know. It's the it's awesome. It's, can you put it on our YouTube channel? Uh, it's on <clears throat> Stefan's YouTube channel. Oh. So I'll put the link in the show notes. Perfect. Uh, but you can also listen. You'll watch this on Spotify if you want to and on our YouTube channel as well. And we can share it on our uh we can share it on our stories. Yeah, for sure. It's yeah. definitely worth it. That was great. <laughs> that was a great video. Awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you, Stefan. That was, yeah. I... I'm going to buy extra Romex for that video. <laughs> uh, should we get into some uh, voicemails? Yeah. Why yeah, not? absolutely. All right. We got three voicemails here. Uh, first one I listened to really quick here. So other two I didn't. First one from Anonymous. I think my favorite part of the podcast was maybe a Christmas or two ago when Chad did his poem. Fucking amazing. Stupid fucking poem, but it was like <laughs> a podium move. We need more poems from Chad. No. We get yeah. one a year. I think every, what do we do, Christmas? Or Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That was great. The poem was awesome. That was a great. Uh, I agree. That was a great. Uh, yeah. The yeah. poems are a good good touch once a year. I love them. Yeah. The Christmas special. The Christmas, Christmas special. special. <laughs> we should have a Christmas special this year. Ooh. Wonder what we could do for that. I don't know. Here's the next so, one. Hey, boy, Tyler from New Leaf, Ottawa here. Just wanted to say congrats on 200 episodes. It's always fun to listen in on Fridays and Saturdays. And, uh, yeah, here's to 200 more. Our, 
number Tyler. one fan with uh, how much he shares us. That's true. Tyler's thank great. you, Tyler. Yeah, thank you, Tyler. Uh, and then our last one here. Hey, guys. Love the podcast. Best best podcast out there. Um, one of my favorite episodes, well, all of my favorite episodes have to do with Paver King uh, dealing with a customer, uh, whether it's judging them by the front door or going into their house and realizing that it was just a mistake. Uh, those those always get me cracking up. So really enjoy the podcast, guys. Keep going. Today I dug up our customers. Why did I, we were, deleted our customers? Very important shrub over their dead cat. So <laughs> keeping that streak alive. Good customer service. Nice. So, right. Thank you for that, Eli. Thank that you. Was great. Eli. Yes. Hmm. Awesome. That's all we got for our two hundred. I thought you said there was questions. Oh yeah, we got questions. Should we Mike jump is right on, into those? Mike is on drugs and sick. <laughs> <laughs> I think All we right. should jump into the questions. Absolutely. Yeah, this might take us the rest of the way. There's quite a few questions here. Well, you have to leave at seven, right? Yeah, I got to be out just before seven. <laughs> 